everybody, Trucker John here. So yeah, I'm here at the, at the world's largest truck stop. This is uh, off Interstate 80, right behind me there, in Walcott, Iowa. I'm on my way to Mancota, Minnesota. Came from Savannah, Georgia. Did a quick, uh, quick 10 hour reset over there in um, uh, Louis Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. So I'm here, usually I start my videos at the beginning of my day. I wanted to start this one at the end of my day because I knew I was gonna stop here. Uh, if you watched my previous video, I did tour their, their uh, museum, which was actually really cool. Um, I'll definitely do it again when I have more time, uh, have more time to kind of browse through everything they have in there. It's a really cool place and it's free. So just donate something if you want to and go check it out. All right, so I haven't done something for a while and I wanted to do it today. The wind is a little strong, but I'm gonna try anyway. I'm gonna get the little sparrow out and I just wanna sh show you guys how large this parking lot is. This truck's up. They call it the world's largest. I think it's got close to, I wanna say a thousand parking spots. That's what I'm guessing. I really don't know what the actual number is. I'm guessing a thousand. So I'm gonna get the little spur out and just kind of get a bird's eye view and see how it looks from the sky. Quite an, an impressive uh, parking lot for sure. So I actually uh, Googled it. There's 900, I was close, 900 truck parking spots. And there are 250 car parking spots and 20 bus parking spots. So definitely over a thousand parking spots, but just for the, our trucks alone, 900, which is still amazing. I mean, you could probably park here any time of night and always find a parking spot. I know we've been here before pretty late at night and we were able to find a spot. It was in that back lot over by the water tower, but there was plenty of open spots. You know, and that was late at night. Any other parking spot around the country, forget it. <laughs> if, it's, uh, if it's past five, 6 p.m. or if it's dark outside, yeah, good luck. Uh, all right, so that's how we're gonna start our video today. Uh, moving on to Minnesota tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up early and get us over there. Not too early. Our appointment isn't until 5 p.m and I'm about 315 miles away, so I can give myself a good seven, eight hours to get there, because there's traffic or something, uh, so we're good. 
Uh, real quick shout out to PD64 uh, and a super chat. Is it yesterday, the day before? Uh, gave a generous uh, super chat donation, so I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, one thing I noticed, uh, not that it's a big deal, and one thing I noticed with the super chats, I've, I've gotten uh, three or four different super chats. PD64 was definitely the biggest, though. He gave me 100 bucks. That was freaking amazing. But I saw that, I was like, is that is that right? <laughs> I had to do a double double take, uh, but thanks, buddy. That was amazing. Uh, PE sixty four, really good, really good there. Uh, but yeah, so I went to look at my video analytics that will show my revenue for videos, and uh, yeah, so JBG Travels, go check him out. Also, he gave me um, a donation as well, and I went to go look at those, and. I knew YouTube took a percentage. You know, nothing's free in this world. Nothing's free to use on their on their platform. Uh, so when you give a super chat, YouTube actually takes a percentage. Um, what I was shocked by is how much of a percentage. Uh, it's half. All right. So that hundred dollars that um, PE sixty four gave, I only got fifty dollars of it. Uh, and same thing, the donation that JBG Travels gave me, I got half of that. Uh, so no, no big deal you know I'm still you know that still helps me it, it helps you know build my channel financially so I can get the good equipment get better cameras things like that so um, yeah just so you guys know uh, I don't know if that's out there in the world but YouTube does take percentage <laughs> all right guys so uh, yeah I'm gonna get some rest and uh, man I yeah you know I went through that car, uh, truck museum it's so awesome I need to come back again uh, when I have more time, uh, you know, they were closing in like 20 minutes when I walked in. But there was a, a few cool cars in there from the 1930s, uh, trucks, I keep seeing cars. There were some trucks in there from the 1930s that got me in the mood to like watch a, like a 1930s era movie. So I think as I wind down for the night here and lay down and go to sleep, I think I'm going to watch The Untouchables with uh, Sean Connery and uh, Sean Connery, uh, Kevin Costner. Yeah, good movie, really good movie. So I'm gonna go watch that. Kind of got me in the mood of watching that. All right, guys. So I will see you down the road. And good morning, everybody. Uh, so we're still here at the Iowa 80, and we are about to get out of here. I'm gonna get my pre-trip out of the way. I am going to uh, get on the road. We have about a six-hour drive to get to Mancota, Minnesota. Uh, I've given myself about seven and a half hours to get there. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be good. My appointment is not till 5 p.m. tonight. I'm gonna try and get there around 4 p.m. So that's what I've set myself up for, for the day. Not a long day, um, but this week is actually doing pretty good. Even though I've had some really short days driving, I've, I've timed my my route just right. You know, I've managed my, my time and, and my miles, and I'm still at uh, 2,161 miles for the week and today is Sunday so I still have Monday Tuesday and half of Wednesday um, and maybe a quarter of Wednesday uh, to get some more miles in so it's gonna be a good week uh, like I said I haven't I haven't like maxed out my clock I've got plenty of time I have if you've been following me you've seen I've only driven maybe between 400 to 550 miles if that every day this week um, so I've just, I've just been managing everything the right way, doing pretty good. Well, plus I had some carryover from last week. That's, that's why it's a little on the higher side. Without that, it probably would have been, you know, more like uh, 1,800 miles, but, uh, which is still pretty good for, for how slow I've been going. I've been going pretty slow. All right, guys. So thanks again for being here. Um, I hope you enjoyed that drone footage from last night and uh, yeah, let's have another good day. We'll see you down the road. Welcome to Minnesota.
right, so I made it here to uh, Mancota, Minnesota. And uh, yeah, the accents are thick. <laughs> Super nice people though. Um, they actually took me early to my, my appointment here. I was gonna stop at a rest stop or something because you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm almost two hours early and Walmart never takes you early, ever. Um, so I just kind of got lucky. I, I just showed up and was gonna play stupid if he told me my appointment was at five. And I was gonna be like, oh, okay. And then just come back at five, you know, whatever. But he didn't say nothing and I didn't say nothing. He processed me and sent me to my door. Uh, but now the question is, will they take 10 hours to unload me? <laughs> that could be the downfall. So anyways, I'm here, I'm docked. Um, just waiting, you know, I turned all my paperwork in, so I'm just kind of waiting for them to start unloading me. And yeah, it's early enough to where I can hopefully get another load here pretty quick and get on my way down the road. The good thing about this part of the country is I'm really not too worried about parking tonight. Um, no matter where I go, I'm probably gonna find something. It's just not that crowded up here in the north. Um, I'm close to the 90. The 90, yeah, I'm from California, guys. Interstate 90, whatever it is. 90. <laughs> that's where, that's the major uh, interstate that runs along the north. Uh, anyways, uh, a lot of people, a lot of truckers aren't up in this area. So I, sh I might get lucky and find something, even if I stop late tonight. So I'll definitely keep you updated and yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for being here. All right, so we're in St. Peter. We just left that Walmart and we're heading out to get some fuel. And I'm going to risk trying to get as close as I can to my next appointment, which is in Rice, Minnesota. Uh, it's about a two hour drive total, not including my stop for fuel. So I'm hoping by the time I stop tonight, there's uh, some parking. I, I'm, I'm feeling okay about it. I think we're going to be all right. I'm stopping at a rest area almost an hour away from where I need to pick up, which my appointment is tomorrow at 8 in the morning. So I might be cutting this kind of close, but Sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do. Driving this, through this nice little town here, St. Peter, if you're familiar with it here in Minnesota. Nice little quiet town, looks like. So anyways, uh, yeah, I'm doing one of these. I, I don't like these types of loads I'm about to do. Um, so I have two pickups. My first pickup, I gotta drive two hours there to pick up in Rice, Minnesota. After that, after they get me loaded, I have to go to a second pickup, which is 170 miles away, which is the part that I don't like about it. And I gotta be there by gotta be there by 3 p.m. For my second pickup. And that's gonna be in uh, Rochester, Minnesota, and then I gotta be that's it. My two pickups, then I'm dropping off in. Lebanon, Tennessee, which is about 780 miles, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I got about two days to get there, which is plenty, I think plenty of time. I may have to hustle a little uh, the day after tomorrow, but I'll, I'll definitely get in there, no problem. So that's going to do it for me for today, guys. I uh, got a lot of work ahead of me, so I'm going to focus on that, so I'm going to close out this video for today. Appreciate you all stopping by and coming along with me on my journey, as always. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, I will see you down the road. Hopefully my GPS stops yelling at me. She's always yelling at me. She's so bossy. Qualcomm. Qualcomm's always telling me I'm speeding when I'm not. <laughs> <laughs>